Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to gain S-Soft on your HTC One M8. This tutorial should work with other phones including the HTC One M7, Droid DNA aka HTC Butterfly, the One S, One Max and other Qualcomm based HTC devices as well. The prerequisite here is that the bootloader must be unlocked and your phone should be rooted. So if you haven't done that already, the links to unlock the bootloader and root your device for the HTC One M8, M7 and the Butterfly can be found right below the like button in the description. So go ahead, get that done, get your bootloader unlocked, uh, get the phone rooted and continue on with this video. So if your phone's rooted, what you need to do is first off, quickly head on over to the settings and just go down, select about, software information, more and over here tap build number seven times now this will unlock uh, the developer mode so now under developer options uh, make sure that usb debugging is checked all right so now just connect your phone to, a P to your pc or laptop and leave it as it is so guys also make sure that you disable any passcode pattern or any kind of lock that you have on your device and make sure that your phone is connected to the PC uh, with a USB 2.0 port on the PC. There are some issues if you use USB 3 so USB 2 is preferred. So guys clicking on link 1 from the download section in the description down below will get you to this page on XDA developers. So over here just download the latest HTC drivers, install it. Link 2 will take you to this page. Just download Android SDK.slim and save it to your computer and link 3 will take you to firewater s off all right so uh from here just just scroll down a bit and you'll have an option saying download firewater download it and save it so you'd have something like this so uh, this is what you downloaded from link 2 right click it and extract and also enough you can uh, move firewater inside this folder inside platform tools and paste it so what you do next is just hold shift on your keyboard hit right click and select open command window here so over here you need to type in adb devices so as long as you have your drivers installed your phone will show up over here and now if you check your your phone you would see a prompt allow usb debugging and just check always allow from this computer and click ok so now just execute the command again and as you can see it would not say unauthorized anymore it would say device so now type in adb reboot so guys once your phone's booted back up quickly type in adb wait dash for dash device space push firewater slash data slash local slash dmp and hit enter so once you've done that type in adb shell and type in su so right now on your phone you will have a super user request so hit grant so now type in chmod 755 slash data slash local slash tmp slash firewater and hit enter and now again type in slash data slash local slash tmp slash firewater and hit enter again and hit yes okay type in yes and just wait for firewater to do its thing so guys as you can see it now says the device is now s off don't forget to send us all your money and a paypal link there so if you want to help out the developer that's the paypal link so free feel free to donate uh, and now just to check that let's get to the htc one and you can actually disconnect the phone from the pc now 
and uh, let's quickly turn it off and I'm gonna hold down volume and power and there you see we now have S off so I guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys hope you found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these make sure you stay subscribed so thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.